I'm excited to be here for my fourth swearing in for the California State Assembly. Walking onto the floor of the State Assembly, I really reflect on how members have served in this historic building, in this legislative body, where we've had over 4,000 members serve, but yet only under 200 have been women. Uh, that is powerful. Here with my team, here with my family, with uh, many of my colleagues who are returning. Very honored to be elected as the chair of the Latino Legislative Caucus. I am truly grateful for my colleagues in the Latino Caucus for having the faith in my leadership so that we can continue driving change for the nearly 16 million Latinos in the state of California. We have many issues to continue fighting for. We have a diverse caucus of Afro-Latinos, indigenous uh, members of our community. Workforce development has been a key issue that we've worked on, uh, making sure that we have a strong workforce and that people don't have to commute hours out to find a great living wage. They can find the job in their own neighborhood. These are the issues that we're gonna be fighting for on behalf of working families, on behalf of uh, women and children. The last time we had this chamber filled was in 2018, uh, and so to fill that sense of community uh, was wonderful. Uh, to hear from the speaker, uh, to hear that we're going to continue to fight with passion, with integrity, and principle for all of our constituencies in the state of California.